Yo, we're officially at 32,000 subscribers, and as promised, for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm gonna teach you cybersecurity for free. What you're looking at, this is Tenable. Tenable is the number one vulnerability scanning tool in the world. I use this every day on the job. This is how we keep companies secure because you have to identify the vulnerabilities. It's not the same as the Nessus Essentials tool that most of you have probably played with or something you've never even seen. But anyway, we're gonna talk a little bit about tagging. So this is part of a series. So if you wanna learn the entire series, I strongly encourage you to go to my main page of my YouTube channel and walk through the entire series because each lesson is going to build on it and so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get started so what we're going to do is tagging what is tagging so tagging allows us to add information to an asset well what is an asset an asset is a computer or anything that tenable has identified through any of its scanning methods okay so that means we can put an agent on a machine. That means we can scan the network and identify devices. We can scan devices from the tenable cloud scanners, which are out on the internet and identify devices. We even have what's called a uh, tenable Nessus network monitor that can actually like integrate and you can like, you can basically span a port, which is a fancy way of saying is that it can like, you duplicate the traffic that's going through your firewall and you send that data to the Nessus is the Nessus network manager and it's able to read and get and gather vulnerability and device information and everything straight off the off the wire coming in and out of your organization via your firewall or via switches and stuff like that so but tagging tagging is located under menu and settings and when you go to settings you can see tagging right here and you should have some tags set up and i want to introduce a lot of you if you're new to this then maybe you never dealt with a key value pair before so a good example is the key would be organization or company and the value would be the name of the company you know what i'm saying so in this situation what i've done is we have multiple people we had a cybersecurity mentorship program and i'm not selling that just let you know okay so i've had five mentees and they've been that they've helped me to kind of develop this program to be able to teach y'all what because i've been able to see in real what it takes to get people a job in cybersecurity. so what we have here is we have the category is organization and then the value is technology interpreters you can insert whatever values you want there or whatever category you're trying to divide into it could be operating system and the value could be windows 10 operating system could be windows 11 those type of things okay so this is what we have initially but why did i create the tags well, because tags can be used in other part of Tenable, but you can also dynamically assign tags to devices using these rules. And so we come here as we select filters and we can say of all these different categories, if this thing equals this, then we automatically add the technology interpreters tag to that. So if we can say Mac address, we can say name, we can say operating system. If any of these things is equal to and we put what is equal to right here then it will automatically assign the tag okay so how is that beneficial because sometimes you may want to like categorize all your things together like at my operating system because maybe you want to automatically scan them in a different way or automatically scan particular operating systems we'll figure it out. i'll show you in just a second okay so what we're going to do here is so now that i've got this tag i'll show you the simplest way i want to click on the technology interpreters which is it'll you know you can change that logo so it's a tenable logo and it'll take me back to the main menu and i'm going to go to the vulnerabilities here so when i go here like now i'm looking at all the vulnerabilities for all the devices that are in tenable but i just want to see the devices that are part of technology interpreters my organization and so that being the case i can say and asset tag which is what that's called and by the way it will be called asset tags in some places in other places it'll be just called tags okay and so i can say where asset tag is equal to whatever right so anyway so i'm going to choose asset tag and i'm going to say is equal to and here's the cool thing it literally will present like after i created the tag it allows me to automatically select it there and so I click apply. And by the way, this is the filtering system. I covered this in earlier tenable videos. And now look here, all of these devices that are have my tag for technology interpreters, I can now only see the vulnerabilities for that are applicable to the devices that I'm interested in. Okay. So, that, <coughs> so that's very beneficial <coughs> for even just looking at the vulnerability view. And I can also switch and look at it by assets, see which assets. These are all the ones that I'm monitoring as far as part of my organization. And stuff like that and then also plugin id and by the way each vulnerability in tenable is assigned a plugin okay so just remember each vulnerability has a unique identifier that's called a plugin id okay 
And so here's the plugin ID listed over here. So this be, in the case, I can now filter and look by severity. So within or my organization right now, I'm looking at it. So I've got three critical vulnerabilities and stay tuned because I'm also doing videos showing me remediating the vulnerabilities in addition to this. So that's one way. But what about another way? So if I come back to the main menu, Tenable has this really, really cool uh, dashboard. Well, you know, I'm looking at this dashboard and it's cool, but it's not just showing my devices. What if I just want to see my devices in Tenable? Well, Tenable takes care of that too. So I'm going to go to dashboards here and see I've created one and so I'm going to click on the one that's for technology interpreters and I'm going to actually let's see I don't want to make it default but I'm just going to select it and click view here so I can see this so now I'm looking at this custom dashboard that I created you notice the numbers have changed well the reason that's changed is because if I go into the configuration what I've done is I've actually said asset tag equals technology interpreter so I'm only looking at my dashboards so how cool is that so now every one of my dashboards I can have filtered down just to look at specific things that I've tagged using that feature but wait there's more right so not only can I do that what about reporting well if I go to reporting there are all kind of reports we can create and so I've got a report here that I create. Let's see if I can click on this one to use this and I'm going to edit this report and so I want this report to be let's see if I can do it here no 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 let me go let's just go ahead and create a new report right quick okay so we'll create a report and we're just trying to use something, something just very basic uh, compliance framework. We can just talk one of these. And so we can select the template here. And when I generate the report, typically there's a section over here where I can choose to edit and to choose only particular tags. And I'm not seeing it right here. So it's funny. I did this video already. All right. So edit filter. Let's go here. Uh, asset, asset tags. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Cool. And so I filtered this down to technology interpreters. So now I've actually modified this report. So this report now only shows assets that are my assets that I want to look at. So think about that. So dashboards, reporting, uh, automatically tagging, and then also even looking for the, at the vulnerability menu. And then if I go to my assets here, you know, saying I, I can see them here and just want to show you how like intendable names do change a little bit. Because remember, it was asset tag when I wasn't in the asset section. But when I'm in the asset section, it's just called tags. So if I want to say, see all my devices, I say and tags and that same thing is equal to and then I do technology interpreters. Now, once again, I'm in the asset table and I will filter down just to my assets. But this is also where I can go if I want to add new assets to my list of devices. I have others in here, like maybe IP addresses or domains and stuff like that. If I want to add tags to those, I can click on those tags right here and add a tag. And once again, it's many, many ways that you can use this feature, but I at least want you to expose it to you. You don't have to master it, but I want you to know about it. And if you're already working in vulnerability management, then especially working with Tenable, hopefully this will help you to be a little bit more efficient in your workflow uh, on a daily basis. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you all. So if you made it to the end of the video, put free BSD, all right? Free BSD 15.0, how about that? Make it a little bit more complicated. So if I see that yet in, my, uh, in the comments, I know you made it to the end of the video. And also, I'm thinking about doing a full day for those of you that made this interview a treat for you. I'm thinking about doing a full free, like live training thing where I, can, where I just basically go here and walk through the tools, give you kind of show you all the details. I don't know if I can give you access to the tools yet. I'm working to grow my channel so I can actually get it, do a full training where I can get you in the tools and stuff like that. Um, but we'll work through that. But anyway, my goal is to make sure this training is completely free. And if you help me to grow the channel, I'll keep providing the free, the free training because I'll be able to get additional partners. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. It helps me, help me promote the channel, help me to grow it so I can get more partners, bigger tools, bigger everything. And by the way, Okta video is coming in. So if you don't know what Okta is, identity and access management videos, those are coming soon when I finish the Tenable series. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.